Are you nervous about taking your toddler camping and wondering what you can do to help them have a successful and drama-free first camping trip? Um, let me tell you what I did. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, it is Thursday and we had our forest friends tea yesterday. So I was really busy. I put that all together and setting it up and everything. I didn't have a lot of time to do my normal vlog like day in the life or forest school vlog that I usually do for you guys. But you showed so much interest in our camping video that I put out on Tuesday from our camping trip over Memorial Day weekend that I thought I would share with you guys um, my top three tips for um, transitioning and having a stress-free, drama-free um, trip, camping trip with your autistic toddler. We have taken Arlo camping before, but it was when he was still a baby. He wasn't even walking yet, I don't think. So it's very different when they're mobile. <laughs> and my first tip for you would be to start mentally preparing them for uh, the new thing, whether it's a camping trip or whatever, but um, start preparing them well in advance. Let them know what to expect. Let them know what the rules are. I was really nervous taking Arlo camping. Um, we went to this party at a friend's house and it's out on a farm in the country and there's a lot of open space to run around in and that's great, but there is this dirt road that runs right in front of their yard um, that is usually there's nobody coming and it's fine but when the car comes down that road i feel like they drive too fast i feel like they fly and so i was nervous about that because it's not fenced in and morgan was coming later than arlo and i were because he had to work so i started a week in advance telling him what was going on you know i told him uh first day i was like we're gonna go camping this weekend it's going to be a lot of fun and there's going to be all this room for you to run around and play. And we'll get to see lots of our friends. But the one rule is we do not go in the road. You can play anywhere else you want, but do not go in the road. And then the next day, you know, we're going on a camping trip this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to sleep in a tent. Isn't that cool? And there's going to be a lot of room for you to run around and play. But the one rule is... We do not go on the road. And every day, every single day, I would, you know, just tell him about it and get him prepared and tell him the R1 rule. Because I feel like where Arlo struggles is he is in his own world a lot. I was like that. His dad was like that. So I get it. And in the moment, it can be hard to come out of your own little daydreamy world enough to realize that what you're doing might be dangerous. So um, I wanted to give him the rules every day so that it would be in his brain, repetition, you know, so that in the moment he would just, it would be there already and he would know we don't go in the road. Um, and it worked and I was really happy. Um, there were a couple of times where he maybe got near the road, a little nearer than I would have liked. But all I had to say was, Arlo, what's our one rule? And he'd come back. So I was really um, surprised. I had seen people say that that worked, you know, to like prepare them well in advance, let them know what to expect, go over it over and over again um, well in advance. And I was skeptical. I was nervous. 
but it worked great. So that would be my first tip to you if you're taking your toddler um, camping, any toddler really, is to get them in a mental space where they know what's going to happen and what they can expect. My second tip would be to make your tent feel familiar. Um, I was really worried about Arlo sleeping. You know, Arlo, like a lot of other um, kids on the spectrum, really struggles with sleep sometimes, even when we're at home. He needs time to wind down. He, usually he will go into his room and he, we will turn off the light and get him all tucked in and he will watch a few videos, um, maybe a few episodes of Bluey or some YouTube videos he likes to kind of wind his brain down and get into a sleep mode. And we weren't gonna have any of that out there because, you know, the internet is spotty and there's, you know, we weren't gonna have like electrical hookups or anything like that. We were roughing it kind of. So, um, you know, he, I was worried about how he was gonna calm his mind down to go to sleep. But I brought, so I tried to keep it as familiar as possible. Um, we didn't bring any like sleeping bags or any of anything like that that you would usually take camping a lot of times. We brought our actual bedding from home. I took the sheets off our bed. Um, we brought our pillows. We brought our normal blanket just to make it feel familiar and cozy. Um, we were on an air mattress, so that helps a little. Sorry guys, I am stuffy. I think from being outside yesterday all day, my allergies are just crazy. But, um, you know, I made it feel familiar and then I brought four of his favorite books that he likes to read. He has these books that are all about, um, he has like eight or 10 of them but they're all about different baby animals. So we brought um, a little colt, a little chick, a little piglet, and a little owl. Little owl is his favorite. So when it was time to go to sleep, we went back to the tent. I used the flashlight on my phone. We didn't bring a lamp or anything. We got all his pajamas on and then we crawled into bed and I read those books to him and I read all four of them and at first he was like jumping up and down on the bed and but gradually the net you know calmed down a little bit the next book calmed down a little bit the next book and finally he was just laying in bed snuggling me and I turned off the light on my phone and then it was dark and he didn't really have a lot of other option but to fall asleep you know we snuggled and I'm not sure at what point he actually fell asleep we talked for a little while but um Eventually I fell asleep and I woke up and he was asleep too. So yeah, tip number one, or tip number two is make it feel familiar. And then the third thing I did was to bring some toys from home as well. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people talk about taking your kids camping and they're like, uh, your kids don't need toys, nature is enough. All that is true, but where the toys really came in clutch was when we were in the tent and it was morning and nobody else was awake yet and it wasn't time to get out and leave the tent and wander around. He had toys to play with. I also saved one of his toys for just this occasion. Um, for Christmas, we got him a bug catching kit from Learning Resources. And I decided we hadn't opened it yet. We hadn't had, you know, we weren't, hadn't had a bug catching opportunity. So I decided this would be a great first outing to break out that bug catching kit. And I brought it with us and, uh, you know, it was new. And so he was excited about it and I opened it up the day of our party and let him play with it and check it out. And it was, it comes with like a little ladybug that you can put the, the bugs that you catch down in it, it's like this clear plastic jar with a ladybug top that the wings open up and there's like a magnifier so you can get a up close look at your bugs. It came with like tweezers, it came with this bug catching tool. It's like two half, 
has this plastic ball on like a scissor type thing that uh, you can close around the bug and then you've got your bug in there and catch it and put it in your ladybug. So we played with that. We went all around looking for bugs. It also came with a magnifying glass, which was really cute because he carried it around the whole art party and was like stopping to like look at different things with his magnifying glass. So, you know, that was a sensory thing for him that was kind of cool too. Um, and then the next morning while we were waiting for everybody else to get up because he gets up pretty early anyways and then it being you know new and different he woke up when the sun came up and Morgan was still sleeping and we just played with our toys we played with his uh Tommy Tudor play computer that was actually mine when I was a kid I brought that we played with that for a while we played with our cars and our dinosaurs and then we played with this bug catching kit there were some bugs in our tent with us <laughs> that had come in the night before and we caught them. They were mostly flies. We caught one moth and then we caught a big mosquito hawk. So yeah, that kept us excited and now he's all about catching bugs. He caught two flies on his own yesterday. I can't believe it's already fly time, but he caught two flies yesterday and he's just loving it. So yeah, guys. Those are my three major tips for um, helping your toddler adjust while camping. If you like these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. And then if you could click the like button for me or drop a comment down below and let me know what you do with your kids when you take them camping. Because we plan on doing more camping trips this summer because it went really well and Arlo loved it. Um, so yeah, that's it. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.